liquid crystal version and um i did a lot of stuff i wasn't really supposed to do like off screen and most of it was by accident now there's a reason i'm standing in front of the gym and that's because if you step on this square some random redhead just like runs up from around over here where you can't see him bumps into you tells you to move out the way and you're just like okay and he runs off into nothingness so that might be important for later on also i did a bit of grinding over here on my team on on and on this patch of grass we found one of our uh, one of their new team members so everyone say hello to our new team member Tyrell the Growlithe which is cool because in this episode we're going to be taking on Sprout Tower he's calm natured but Tyrell's always chill so I figured that really suits him uh, Intimidate and he has Ember, Bite and Roar I didn't train Titan up I did train Paul up so he's level 13 now and Rick Roll is level 13 as well we also have this guy over here he's pretty cool if you talk to him for the first time, he gives you the, 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 where is it, the TM for Thunder, I think it was. He asks you if you like the rain, you gotta say yes, and yeah, we have Thunder in the early game. Also, um, Rickroll found Hidden Power randomly, and that's cool. There's a, uh, Growlithe is actually a rare Pokemon to find. I try to, because I was grinding Ghastly here, since there's other Ghastlies and they're higher level than the ones in Sprout Tower. Uh, Growlithe is pretty rare to find there, so. Um, good thing we have him. So now let's try to take on the Sprout Tower. Let's put, um, Tyrell up in front. Get him intimidating stuff. And hopefully he'll be around level 15 by the end of this. Alright, we battled him last episode. And, oh god, a ghastly. You know what? Might as well see how much bite does on this. Oh, not roar. Crap. Okay, never mind then. I misclicked. Alright, what's this item? An escape rope. That's always good. Ah, uh, battle. Okay, ghastly. Alright. Alright, bite is a one hit KO. That's good. Alright, and then, um. Sage Jujutsu. Yeah, <laughs> get the pun, Jujutsu. Uh, stuff like that amuses me. But yeah, Tyrell is just owning all these Bell Sprouts. I mean, like, what's the point of monotyping if you have the same Pokemon repeated over and over again? I mean, it's not like a smear goal that, that can learn several different moves. Or something like, if you monotype with a smear goal, like, you're so freaking unpredictable. But you have bell sprouts. I mean, the bulk of your move pool is acid, um, not acid, uh, poison and, uh, and grass type moves. Or an X accuracy. I hate all the X items. Like, they, other than for selling them, they're completely worthless to me. I don't use them in game. I definitely don't use them in the meta game, and I will not use them in this let's play. And come on, Bell Sprout, stop living the Ember. Oh God, and I used Bite first. Oh, he wrapped us. This is this. I don't like continual damage. I really don't like continual damage. Alright, now we're level 12. Hopefully we one hit KO. And of course, he brings out this stronger one. Because he's a douche. But then again, I did bring a fire Pokemon to the all grass Pokemon place. Alright, um, let's use a potion on him. Uh, also, Rickroll picked up a lot of like useless berries. And uh, we have a couple of apricorns, so that's cool. So whenever we get to Kurt, we'll just make balls. Alright, 
Sage Fang is battling with his, with his Bell Sprouts, and these guys, I should have probably trained Tyrell a little bit more, because they're all surviving his Ember. And I'm not really quite sure if his physical or his special attack is better. Alright, and we learned Leer. Alright, they, I mean, I, I really don't think Bellsprout is a cool Pokemon. Like, as a kid, I, I used to hate it just because it evolved into Victory Bell. And, like, Victory Bell was always attacking James. And this douche brings out a Hoodoo. Alright, so, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into Rick Roll And just duel it out with him. Just to get, like, experience on Rick Roll. Oh my god, all this growling. You know what? Titan, you're up. Everyone's, like, close together. Water gun. Yeah, get predicted. Even though my physical attack is better than my special attack. Alright, so let's go up here and see what happens. Whoa. Elder, you're trained with the skills as a trainer. As promised, here's your HM. But let me, t let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Hm. He claims you to be the elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason I never lose to fools your Babylon about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Ginger used an escape rope. See? He's a soulless prick. Good thing we named him Ginger. Alright, let's see how everyone's doing. Do I gotta heal up? I should be fine. And like, Rick Roll needs to pick up more items. Alright, let's go Sage. Sage Christo, or Christo, however you want to pronounce that, wants the battle. Alright, level 13 Bellsprouts. Get that Intimidate. Oh, super effective. One hit KO. Let's go. Oh, he sends out a hoodoo. Might as well just kill it. That was a crit. Tyrell putting in the work of this episode. Oh, super potion. Did not see that coming. Come on, burn. Yes! Okay, um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch out. Save Tyrell for Bellsprout. And... Pole can't do anything because Hoodoo's a normal type. I mean, Pole could have cursed, but then losing half my HP. Not really one of my best ideas. Or something I would want to do. Alright, and then he's going to go back into Bellsprout, and we're going to finish it with Tyrell. Level 14, hopefully we can kill it in one hit, and we don't. Alright, he used his only attacking move as growth, so. Alright, level 14, Tyrell putting in that work. Alright, and um, we got HMO5, Flash. I don't think I'm going to need Flash, so I won't teach it to anyone unless I really have to. Especially because we don't, we're not gonna have an HM slave. Um, where is it? We're gonna use an escape rope because I'm lazy. All right, we're gonna go heal up, and um, for the rest of this episode, we're just gonna take on the trainers in the gym, and I, I'll just do a whole separate segment for. For the gym leaders, that's what I'm going to do this Let's Play. Uh, we're going to put Rick Roll in front. And this is pretty cool. They got like the old school sprites for the gym. Except for like the trainers and stuff. But I kind of appreciate the old school stuff. So he sends out a Spearow versus Rick Roll. And I'm really wishing I had Roll Out. Like super effective move. Just to hit them all. 
All right, and uh, if Taco could hit sometime, okay. All right, we got past that guy pretty quick. And um, all right, so there's only two trainers in here. And this guy has a lower level Spearow, but he's being more offensive with it, so. Alright, Rick Roll just sweep, sweeping along all these trainers. Um, so, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to off-screen train everyone to level 15. And then we're going to take on Faulkner, the bird-type gym leader. Yeah, bird type, um, flying type. So, oh yeah, there's another couple of things. Like last episode, I was telling you that this kid right here still trades you um, a bell sprout for an onyx, and we might have an onyx on our team. We might not, depending on how I feel like it. Um, but you could catch bell sprouts on that route, but they're um, they're kind of hard to see, uh, to find. But yeah, we're just gonna we'll end the episode right here if my guy wants to walk to the to top of the gym. Alright guys, next time we take on the gym.